to change anything? Have you had to address like your fighting style and maybe change anything? I always try to improve, you know. I always try to improve, you know. I'm, 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 I'm working hard in the gym and I try to improve. I have a lot of good partners, a lot of good coach in America top team. I'm still there, you know. Uh, for sure I'm pissed off. Both fights I think they won, they're close. A lot of people think they won. But let's go see what happened this Saturday. Now. I'm ready to to do my best. Is there any danger of like a lack of, I don't say focus, I mean everybody's dangerous, right? But Robbie Lawler is the legend, you know, been around forever. Alex is a heck of a fighter, but not a legend like Robbie. Is it difficult to have the same motivation or focus with that change? No, man, the motivation is still there, you know, motivation for me are, you know, change the, the opening, but the goal are the same, you know, the goal are the finish, the guys stay in front of me, you know, I don't care who are, it is no personal business, right? I need to smash whatever is in front of me, take my money, back to home, continue working, and continue doing what I, what I do, you know, and, and it's the same shit, you know. That's a good kid, man. He won eight on the last ten fight and have four victories in a row. And I think this is good for him. I think that's good for me, you know. For when I beat this guy, I can improve to the world. They're one of the best world the world. Last thing for me, I mean, Alex, has been some pretty entertaining fights. Are you seeing this as it's going to be a pretty entertaining scrap back and forth? Or do you feel like you can dominate? How does this go? No, 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 no. I think that's going to be a fun fight, you know, and that's going to be fun for the fans. You know, I think they're always my fight, you know, that they try to do, you know. Uh, this is my style, you know, realistic. My style is exciting, you know, and I know this is going to be an exciting match. Uh, you had recently sent a message to Canelo telling him to leave Lionel Messi alone. Uh, oh, man. Canelo also, he ended up apologizing, I think he was. Right. So what did you make of Canelo's apology? No, that's good, man. If he feeling that apology, I think that's good. You know, everybody can do mistakes. If he make a mistake, it's good he recognize, right? Uh, but for sure, man, if touch with Messi, touch with all Argentina, you know, we love this kid, you know. Especially when you saw the guy is not Respectful when you looking for Messi and you evaluate his career, ten years more, and I think it's the most respectful guy that I know. You know, and that's that's I pissed off with that. A lot of people start a war Mexican Argentina, but they say no, stop with that shit. I love Mexico, you know. I have a lot of friends from Mexico, you know, Brandon. A lot of people, fighters. A lot of people outside the fight, you know. I work in the TV with. A lot of Mexican guys, I work for Mexico, you know, I love Mexico. Nothing personal with Mexico. Just only thing they can ever do is stupid thing and he recognize. And I, I think that's great he recognize and that's it, that's it, you know. So do you think he overreacted? He was just upset that Mexico lost in the moment? Maybe, I don't know, man. Soccer make you pissed off, I understand that. I love soccer. I love soccer, I'm pissed off too, you know. And also, I'm excited for my fight, but I'm so excited for Argentina Friday too, you know. I'm going to do my way early to go to watch the soccer game. I was going to ask, how is Argentina right now? Oh, that's the cool. World Cup and you fighting. Oh, man. That's amazing, man. That's, I'm excited. I'm excited for the everything we, we live in Argentina, you know. People are super excited with the with the World Cup, but then also they, they, they give me a lot of good energy for the fight. And man, that's, that's good, good things. Sandy, first time you speak in English. <laughs> <Do it out. laughs> you speeding up the way in on Friday. Have you have you seen any spot to see the, the match against Netherlands? The match is at eleven. The way is is two hours early. No, the the way is is nine to eleven. Nine to eleven, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna try to do the first guy doing the way is and go to the to watch the soccer game. You know, start eleven Argentina. So the, tell me how how important is the extra three pounds you part to this fight? I already the way you know I'm it's okay. Uh, I do my good weight good. You know I never got problem with the weight. And um, for sure always we need to sacrifice. But you know it's part of the game. You know it's no 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 easy. But I never got problem and I do everything right. But when they give me this option, they don't give me the other option, right? Because they told me this guy in this way, I say, okay, very good. Um, I'm okay, I'm eating good. The first time, you know, in the five weeks, I'm eating good, you know. But that's good, it's gonna, I think they're gonna be better for me. Hey Santiago, I just wanna ask you, you mentioned um, loving soccer, and just recently Dana came out and said that soccer uh, was 
the least talented sport on earth. I'm just curious if you could respond to that. Dana said that soccer players are the least talented sport on earth. Less talented? No, I don't think so. I don't think they are the less talented. There's no, no easy. You imagine this sport, all kids around the world try to be a soccer player. Well, in a lot of countries they try. And they start competing very young guys, you know. They start to win, have six, seven, eight years. If you start with have 15, 18 years old, you're probably not gonna be staying at a really, really high level. I think it's competitive. Maybe it's other different kind of competitive. Uh, if you looking for us, you know, how working we are for prepare for the fight, uh, maybe it's different, but I think that they, they, it's not easy. Thank you. Santiago, here in the back. All the way to the back. Hey, brother. Hey. Wanted to ask you, with the short notice change, is it more pressure, less pressure? Is it freeing that you're kind of just going to be able to go in there and fight without overthinking a game plan? How does the short notice change affect that mentality? Our decision. Say. Uh, change the game plan, for sure. One guy is south, other guy is orthodox. Change some things. But at the end of the day, it's the same shape. You know, throw inside the cage and prove to myself what, what I can do. Uh, and that's it, man. Thank you. Santiago, right here. Uh, obviously, as a commentator, you get to be get a good seat for a lot of the big fights. Next year is supposed to be very big for the UFC. Return of John Jones, maybe against Ngannou, rematch Pereira, Asanya, Usman Edwards. As a commentator, which fight are you most looking forward to talking about? What is the fight that I most like to, to fight, to watch? To, yeah, to commentate. To commentate? Yeah. No, there are a lot of fights, man. I love this game and this all the time. A lot of good fights, you know, a lot of surprise. Same to the deal network with Usman, and always. I think, you know, I really enjoy, I really enjoy broadcasting the fights and thank God that the last time I'm working a lot, almost every show, I'm, I'm calling the fights. And I like for I start to study more fights. I'm studying, before I study just more my division, now I'm studying all fights, you know. Um, and that's good, you know. We learn more about the sport, we watch it in other, uh, the other point, the fight, and, and I enjoy it, man. I enjoy a lot of fights. Argentina makes the final. Who do you want to see them play? France or Portugal? Ah, man. I like Portugal. I beat these guys. That's going to be fun. Because of Cristiano? Yes. <laughs> do you think that would be the biggest soccer game ever if Messi and Ronaldo play in the finals? No, this is mainly the finals. The, the, the better player is single. Soccer team are 11 people there inside to the, it's different. The best ever are Messi, for sure. You know, the best soccer player in the history is Lionel Messi. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo for sure is good too, but if supposed to their play in Portugal, what is in that doesn't matter, you know, for this, we're talking the best player is the single man, and the single man, in my opinion, are Lionel Messi. Santiago, gracias por invitarnos un ratito durante este gran evento, el más grande para terminar el año. Claro, gracias a vos. Cuéntanos un poquito cómo está el campamento, cambio de oponente, cómo está todo para el sábado. Para... Nosotros nos preparamos, hacemos un trabajo estratégico. Obviamente cuando tenemos un oponente asignado es un deporte para gente que tal vez no lo entiende tanto, un deporte donde lleva mucha estrategia donde se puede decir que es un juego de ajedrez y uno hace una preparación para eso. Cuando te cambia un oponente, cambian algunas cosas en cuestión de estrategia. Pero cuando hay que poner en la balanza, por lo menos yo lo tengo que mirar, para mí es mucho más importante estar peleando 
y están midiendo mi control de retreta, que también está en la misma situación, porque él tampoco sabía que iba a pelear conmigo, entonces el estudio creo que no estuvo de ninguna de las dos partes. Para mí es mucho más importante estar en acción con lo que hay, que son cosas que en el, en el, en el negocio de la pelea pasan, y enfrentar este desafío y mostrar que soy capaz de, de pasar por encima de estos desafíos también, ¿no? de estos cambios y de lo que se dio en esta pelea. De acuerdo, y un desafío que no tienes es lo de dar peso. ¿Qué ventaja es estar en una categoría un poquito más grande, o sea, casi, casi medio, pero no tienes que, o sea, la disciplina, matarte para dar el peso, ¿te sientes más, más contento? Sí, está bueno. La verdad que yo ya me venía cagando de hambre un poquito, venía bajando bien el peso y ahora me lo cambiaron, pero está bien, ahora sí puedo comer un poco más en la semana de la pelea y, y está muy bien, está muy bien con el peso, eso no es una presión. Porque siempre te ves de buena actitud, o sea, sonríes a todos padres, pero te ves todavía más animado. Y sí. Y lo que es porque no tienes que tener esa rutina. Sí, 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 obviamente que a, a pesar de que yo siempre soy bien, como dijiste, animado, siempre el corte de peso te va sacando energía, eso es inevitable, ¿no? Es, fisi es fisiológico, con más buena voluntad que le ponga cuando le sacas el combustible al cuerpo, el cuerpo lo siente, pero eh, obviamente ahora tengo más combustible, tengo más energía, está buenísimo. Y como te dije, este es un nuevo desafío, en un peso pactado, hay pelea que es lo importante, así que ahí vamos. Claro, si me oponente, claro que va un vuelo fuerte, va a estar dura. ¿Te da más ánimo todavía de estar ahí enfrente de todos los fans? ¿Es tú? ¿Cómo en comparación que fuera con el de solo? Ah, me encanta, me encanta que sea una cartelera paga por eventos, tener un título mundial en juego, estar en la cartelera estelar. La verdad que para mí estar representando a mi gente, una vez más es, es un orgullo, trabajé mucho y como te digo, a pesar de los cambios que hubo, se toma el desafío como, lo, como vino y, y vamos ahí arriba a dar lo mejor el sábado y a representar a toda la gente que viene creciendo en mí. De acuerdo, y finalmente para mí, hablaste en un poquito sobre el, el, el tema en inglés, por favor tu opinión con todo esto de Argentina y de Castelo y de Messi y la cosa. Mira, creo que Canelo se equivocó en criticar a Messi por una acción eh, separada. De hecho, cuando vos ves el video, no, no, no hay nada. Si vos me decís que la agarró y la, la, la prendió fuego, está bien, no voy a decir nada, no importa que sea el Messi. O sea, si tuvo una actitud de respetuosa, me ha callado la boca. Pero lo primero que yo hice cuando vi el Twitter, porque yo lo sigo a Canelo, ir a ver el video. Cuando vi el video, no vi nada, al contrario, él corre la camiseta para no pisarla con el botín. Entonces, eso como que me enojó. No sé si lo hizo para poder generar medios, si lo hizo para, no sé, para simpatizar más con los mexicanos o si lo hizo también de, de, porque estaba dolido por el partido, tal vez una reacción. No sé cuál fue el motivo, pero sí en el momento reaccioné porque lo que digo, cuando vos criticás a una persona en un medio público, más cuando es alguien que tiene tanto poder, vos tenés que evaluar. O sea, no por una acción separada le vas a criticar a una persona que tiene una carrera intachable, Messi es una persona muy respetuosa. Entonces... Creo que en ese, en ese punto él se equivocó y por eso salía a decirlo. Tal vez si hubiera sido un jugador más controversial, un jugador que yo sé que puede haber hecho algo, tal vez no, pero de la manera que lo hice con Messi, creo que ahí se equivocó y, y, y nada, lo marqué mal. Y yo creo que mi reacción fue el más de todos los argentinos de salir a defenderlo al Leo. Yo aparte lo conozco y sé cómo es. Eh, y, y nada, bueno, eh, después se disculpó, aceptaba las disculpas y se terminó la historia. Fútbol, viva claro. la y la buena sábado. <risa> Gracias, bien, bien. <risa>